Oh, well, uh, Dave Kirby, thank you very much indeed for talking us through the uh, Takano display. Very precise and positive as ever. Thank you very much, Ben. Uh, it's a nice display from Fivey today. I've not uh, not seen him do a rolling for a little while, so that was, uh, was nice to see. So it's been the summer so far. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It's been full shows all the way up to now. Lovely colour scheme on the aeroplane this year. That's right, yes. Uh, as I said, this aircraft from the Italian Air Force, the Boeing KC-767A. something of the power at the uh, disposal of the crew aboard the Air Force Eurofighter Typhoons. machine the KC-767 two major customers for the type Japan and Italy we saw examples from both here last year the aircraft can carry 161,000 pounds of fuel of course the KC-767 also selected by the US Air Force with whom it'll be known as the KC-46A as their new tanker they've flown through and now here to talk about the Vulcan Sean Mathert Sean welcome which have been really the nitty-gritty of the restoration and the engineering. We've done a lot of modifications to the airplane in order for her to... in order for her to be presented uh, at shows like this and others, and uh, we've done quite a bit of uh, upgrading of avionics and also of systems as well. The aircraft will be on static display over the uh, course of the weekend, flying out on uh, flying out on Monday afternoon, I believe. We're going to go back to the to continue with the test flight schedule for the CAA. Tremendous. Mike, it's an absolute pleasure, a favourite aircraft of mine, and I know very many other people in the audience here as well. Great. Thanks very much for having us here, Ben. Mike Davis, the owner of uh, Canberra PR9XH134. You can see it in the static display, not as far behind our commentary point, near the centre of the showground. We recorded that on Friday night. It really has been a star of the show. A quick message before George brings us some more updates. Can the owner of a red Ford Focus registration FE13EUV in the green car park please return to your vehicle. That's the owner of a red Ford Focus registration Foxtrot Echo 13 Echo Uniform Victor in the green car park. Please return to your vehicle. Thank you. Well, thank you, Ben. Uh, go and get some perhaps peace and quiet. And uh, Well, you won't get much quiet at an air show, will you? But uh, nonetheless, there's a range of different catering options there. Uh, just £30 uh, a ticket to enter that particular enclosure and a very pleasant place to put your fleet up. Now, if you missed the first Adrenaline show uh, down at the Adrenaline Zone, that's in the... Uh, in the red area, then uh, you can go to the second showing, which right off to the Petrie de France. Uh, the second showing is at 11.50, and that features the Animal WD 40 show and also all the rider signings. You can get your catering on car experience there as well. And uh, meanwhile, right down at the other end of the fly line in the Vintage Village in the red zone, uh, there's another example. You can join in the fun in their uh, vintage uh, dancing classes as well. Right now, though, action back in the sky again. Uh, back to you, Ben. Yes, we've got the Titans landing and the impressive sight of the KC-767 from the Italian Air Force also uh, turning on to finals. The first of several Italian contributions to today's display, which of course will be closed by the 67 we see here, comes from the 8th Squadron or Gruppo of the 14th Wing or Stormo based at Pratica di Mare, also the home of the Flight Test Centre, which will be contributing the C-27 and Typhoon displays, and which indeed contributed the Typhoon we just see rolling out in front of us there from Italy. The Italians have got four KC-767As. The first of them was delivered in December 2010, 
and it's formally entered service in March of the following year and almost straight away the Italians had to put the brand new tanker into action in the operations in Libya. Since then they've also served in Afghanistan and gradually the capabilities have been improved with the addition of more self-protection equipment, medevac capabilities can transfer 900 gallons per minute to the receiver aircraft the centerline hose and uh, drum unit, which can also be fitted, 600 gallons per minute. And the wingtip pods, behind which the two typhoons sat for that fly past, can transfer 400 gallons a minute. Impressive figures, far in advance of those down at your local filling station. They can operate the KC-767A in all passenger configuration also, with 200 seats, or all cargo or combi configurations of the two. A very versatile aircraft. No wonder the US Air Force eventually selected it after a rather extended procurement program. And here's another good chance with the Italian flag being flown from the cockpit by the flight crew of the KC-767A. But very appropriately, as the KC-767A rolls past representing today's new air-to-air -air refueling aircraft, an aeroplane that's shortly to take its leave of RAF service can be seen in the background, shortly to turn in for its fly past. An aeroplane that served the RAF magnificently since first it entered service. I speak, of course, of the Lockheed TriStar that's come in from literally just up the road, number 216 Squadron, that operates these aircraft being stationed, as with all of the RAF's air mobility and air-to-air -air refueling assets at RAF Bryce Norton in Oxfordshire. Squadron leader Steve Pollard captaining the aircraft today. And this, I'm told, is very possibly the last time we'll see an RAF TriStar at the Air Tattoo. The currently scheduled out-of-service date for the type being around next March. Nine of these aircraft have been converted either as uh, tankers or transport. Marshal of Cambridge did the work. And this was another example of the outstanding support that marshals have given to the UK's armed forces over their extremely long existence. Just like the VC-10s, the TriStars have been extensively used to support British military operations in recent years. And the introduction of the new Airbus Voyager, an example of which we can see in the static park, the aircraft based on the Airbus A330 airliner, really can't come soon enough given how stretched the fleet of TriStars and the old Vickers VC-10s has been in recent times. And certainly you won't see a VC-10 again at the Air Tattoo. There's an example from number 101 squadron in the static, parked appropriately next door or certainly very near to its successor, the Voyager. Coming in for a low approach, the 216 Squadron Lockheed TriStar. Mm.